Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. It's Monday. We got a cat doing something out yeah. there. I don't know what she's doing. It feels so autumnal today, and it makes me so happy. Yeah. What is she doing? I don't know, but it's weird. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> anyway. You look autumnal. I look autumnal. Yes. Yeah, you both look look autumnal. Mr. John does not look autumnal, but he looks so, so handsome so with his cute. glasses. glasses. His new glasses. <gasps> so handsome. Why did he just go away? <gasps> Where is he? Oh, let's get a big shot of that. Let's get yeah, a big shot yeah. of the glasses. No, no. You yeah, don't. Really, come on. Glasses. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Dreamy. Hello. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Deborah. Hi, friends. Hi, Tessie. Ooh. Hey, you gotta wait a minute. I, I, I'm not putting them on the screen. Oh, you're, get, you're getting ahead. You're getting ahead of of, of me. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Tipsy's looking very autumnal too. Always. No. Yeah. Was she your, always has her autumn uh, coat. Yeah. Was your vacation fantastic, Tessie? I hope it was a good one. Hello, Ian. Hello, Carmen. Yay. All our Hello, friends. Joanne and Debbie, look at all our friends. All I, the friends are coming out today. Friends. I, I was just thinking this morning, I was thinking how special this is that I get to hang out with my friends every Monday. How great. It's the best. Good morning, Marilyn. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, she doesn't. She's been camera shy. Yeah. Um, but it is raining here. It is. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. I know some of you don't know why we're excited about that. But, um, <laughs> it doesn't happen very often here, so it's super exciting. And also, we just love oh. the rain. Five national parks and hiking in eight days. That sounds wow. fantastic. Man, that sounds really nice. And I do find like we had a week or two of like really high spiky heat in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you'd find excuses not to leave, not to go anywhere. Yeah. And then now I'm finding excuses. I'm like, I want to go outside. Yeah. yeah. Be out and about. It's so pretty outside. Yeah. It smells like rain and yeah. It moisture. just feels like autumn now. Moisture now. is magical, but it is the there's, there's that smell of rain, right? Yeah. Right starts that's just it's magical yeah so i have all the windows open mm -hmm. i love it but then it spikes up to like 95 next no Shh. we're living in the moment yeah that's true that's true we're living in the moment mm -hmm. we had a class oh we had a class um on saturday it was fantastic it was uh yes. a b b sweet class b sweet class oh man it was it did, was great. Um, there we go. It was corn. The cookies were cornbread cookies with cornbread. the honey butter icing. Honey butter cornbread cookies. Yeah. So sunny. I can't say the same, but I can say the happy part. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, the yeah, to you. This was it, probably one of my favorite sets that, it, that we did. I loved it so much it was so much fun yeah. and everybody's results were so artistic and gorgeous yeah really nice um but if you if you were curious about the honey butter um the cornbread honey butter recipe it's on my website i did it it was a couple of uh thanksgivings ago that i made that i stacy i was seeing the same thing i was like i it was so enjoyable and so like artistic without being too like scary mm -hmm. um with the, the techniques we used uh i definitely think i'm thinking spring it's yeah. gonna it's gonna come around i'm gonna do in spring for sure because i need to do it again usually i don't need to do cookies again but these are it was just a theme and the yeah. look and stuff i i was it was so pretty i enjoyed it i love it and then when you get to see people doing it as well you learn a whole different level of uh I'm kind of seeing how it, it works for them too, and it was yeah, yeah it just made me made me happy. Yeah, we got to watch uh, my son Denver perform. Yeah, it was a art in the park type thing, art de tiza, chalk um, art. Yeah, chalk yeah. art on Saturday mm -hmm. as well. So Bailey made a chalk mural mm -hmm. on the sidewalk, which was beautiful mm -hmm. in front of the studio, and then uh, Denver performed jazz 
uh, some jazz numbers with his band, with the jazz band at the high school. Mm-hmm. But he, he was a featured uh, yeah. saxophonist. He so he did solo the, for like, like an entire song. song. It was so, so good. It was he did amazing. amazing. Yeah, I kept looking over at you like, yeah. and I look <laughs> incredible. I know he's really so good, awesome. but when he performs, it's like a different yeah. thing. It was so good. Yeah, he did Georgia on my mind. Yeah. I've recorded it. I should. I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Marilyn tried out the cornbread honey butter uh, combo. Mm. I'm so glad. Um, did you end up using the honey emulsion? I forget. I feel like I asked you this before, but it was um, in the icing. They used the honey emulsion. Did you end up using honey or the emulsion in that? Because I am curious about trying it with a little bit of honey in that for the flavor instead of the emulsion. But I need to still play around with it. I still did the emulsion in it. That emulsion is strong. Yeah. Like it comes through with just the smallest amount of the emulsion. Mm-hmm. She's tipsies. <laughs> Making noise. <sighs> oh, we do have a couple classes coming up. One every yeah. month scheduled through December. So if you can come up join me uh we have a grand time we have an advanced one coming up and that is so exciting and it's gonna be halloween themed halloween Halloween. um and then we have a beginner for the last two months (laughs) oh yeah that's cool yeah yeah Back back to blonde and short now very short I can't hear you. You, <clears throat> sorry, Mr. John. Thanks. So keep in mind that this advanced class coming up is uh, is going to get you your uh, your letter for uh, Maguyu. This is an all day class. It goes from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and uh, uh, and then I-, I believe that we're planning a couple of little little hangouts around that too. I think afterward we're going to go to dinner with uh, w- with members of the class that want to. Uh, to go and grab a bite and just continue to relax and hang out together. So um, this is this advanced class. It, like I said, it is an all day thing. There are lots of little giveaways and treats and tricks and things uh, uh, through the class. So if you want to earn your letter, um, please come on over to Paso Robles. There are, uh, I think, five people who are flying in and uh, coming to uh, to enjoy the class together. So um, if you have any questions, let us know. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. I'm noticing that my hair looks very, like it has like multiple personality disorder. Like one half is really curly and then the other half is like beach waves. Yeah. What's the deal with that? Yeah. That's I should have so... pointed it out. No. So many classes to make up now that I'm healed from my shoulder surgery. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. You're ready. Are you motivated? I hope it goes yes. easy on you. I hope it's like a... Yeah. Like not too... Does it Does it hurt or is it... I bet you have physical therapy going on, huh? Man. It's starting to rain outside again. I know. I hear it. It's so nice. What is this feeling in the air? Oh, it's humidity. Autumn. <laughs> it's humidity. <laughs> we have, this is this month's uh, lesson is this retro bowling theme, which has been super fun to see the homeworks. We have some more homeworks. All right. So we will start with, this is Zoe Graves. And oh Zoe, my gosh. <laughs> well, if that lopsided bowling ball wouldn't roll at, roll anywhere that would be uh, uh the gutter uh tried to give my my arrow a retro look but all but not loving how it turned out i was a bit rushed to get it done this month overall not my finest work oh well it was fun always and on to the next one and then oh, you're adorable and look at the dang shoes yeah oh man it's so flipping cute the two tone it's so <laughs> cute and i love the arrow i really like I it too. yeah that's cute and also, uh, I have to, to to let you know that Zoe, you did a great job. Um, you, Zoe also um, also took a moment on her public post that she made where she showed that off to her friends and family. Um, she said, for those of you that are wondering uh, what the homework is about, 
I joined an online group for cookie classes and tutorials. Each month, the teacher posts a set of three cookies featuring different techniques with supply lists and tutorials. Our homework is to utilize the techniques to recreate the set. They're not graded. It's all for fun. And we get to take creative liberties along uh, as long as we are using the techniques from that month's set. She put a link to your class. She answered some questions that people get. Um, it, it was it, it's just really great. So, Zoe, way to go. Good job. Awesome. A plus gold star. A -plus. Yeah. <laughs> and next up is Carmen Liriano. Oh, oh my gosh. That's that so one. cute. So cute. It's great. And next up is Jane George. So oh cute. my gosh, the score sheet. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so that's cute. That's adorable. I love the colors. Okay, they're so creative. So great. And now Jan Magnus. And Jan said, uh, a lot of fun. I made the bowling ball out of fondant to get better roundness. Yeah. I cookies next time. I have a hard time getting the flood done well. I was going to say that bowling ball looks so round. It's like, so cute. Dumb. I love it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. That's a great idea. Yeah, it's a good look. This is Deborah Jacob, and I believe this is her very first homework. Oh, they are my super gosh. clean, really nice. So cute. And I love that. Do you hear that? Yeah, that is so loud. That really <laughs> little two-tone, um, little collar and, the, and i like the airbrushing in the back yeah i was gonna it's say different, that different yeah. stencil on the back that's yeah. adorable really cute and the pink lights <laughs> <laughs> here's joanne sassar cute i like the tone on tone on the in the background too look at that so cute see the blue on blue yeah. like and that's charlotte jones as posted to her instagram Yes. So cute. That's where I saw it was on Instagram. I love it. So cute. The two tone again. Oh my gosh. Oh. And then this is Nadine Busting. So look adorable. at the background. It's so perfect. Oh, with it. And then the yeah. cookies are just pristine. Look at how so cute. clean. So nice. I love it. <laughs> this is well, Joanne Malfitano, and Joanne said, "Had so much fun doing ho September homework. I made these for my stepson Justin." who represented New Jersey in Disney at the USA Special Olympics. Justin oh. came home with bronze in bowling. Congratulations, oh my gosh. Justin. So How great. cute. And look oh. at the bowling pin. So awesome. That is so cute. What a cute shirt and everything. That is awesome. I bet he loved that. Next up is Melanie Skiles. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love the little... little couple little duo i know it's so adorable I love it. it makes me want to go get some a little so adorable. this is pam strauss so cute i love the stencil in yeah the, the different stencils it's they so work. cute huh. i saw that one yeah that's adorable also i love that green color it's just so cute yeah this is kathy pedley and kathy said september homework from magoo you lots yeah. of room for improvement but finished it early in a very Hot time. So cute. Boom. So oh, cute. Colors. Good to see you back in, in action. This is Leanne Peterson. So yeah. a whole team of you. colors. I love all of the different colors. And that's a real shirt back there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Here's Kathy Ulich. And Kathy said, uh, for September is done. I uh, I have to admit, I didn't bowl with a big ball like this until I was in my 20s. Can't win, baby. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Yeah. Adorable. Now, um, hold up. Here we go. Along with, along with these, we have a couple of people who turned in um, some of their, uh, their Halloween homework. So... Oh my uh, we have bonus homeworks to show. Um, yes. This is Kathy Pedley. Oh. And Kathy said, hashtag Magoo Halloween party. Good job, Kathy. Um, if you're looking to get started in the cookie world, check out Artie Magoo's website, Best Bargain by Far, and lots of ideas and content. I'm ready for a cooler weather and pumpkin spice everything. How about you? So Yeah, now cute. I am. Oh, man. I, it's been a oh, while since I've seen this set like gosh. done again. Oh, it's so, so good. So Those cute. glowing eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. Amazing job. So cute. 
And then this is Paula Price. And Paula said, this isn't homework, but I did two of the Halloween cookies and added a few others, uh, other spooky cookies. So she has some other ones in there, too. Oh, Adorable. Cute. And I love the little cauldron. Oh How cute yeah. is that? How adorable. Mm. I love it. This is Wendy Carter. Oh, Wendy. my gosh. It's so cute. That is, that is, uh, <sighs> what is it? Not couples goal. It's, it's like your friend group. What is that called? Squad goals. Squad goals. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sage. I'm embarrassed. And also the picture so pleasing yeah. to look at. It's so cute. I love it. That was adorable. So, cool. pretty cool again, too. <laughs> so funny. So cute. All right. Hey, we have... We're going to have dashes of like Halloween no, thrown in. in the I next love one. it. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Yeah, lots of, uh, which I know isn't fun, but do yay. it, right? Makes such a big difference. Um, yay, yay, yay. Yeah. <laughs> I need the shoes. I need the. I know those old two tone. So cute. Yes. Yeah. Such so a creative. Perfect, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I love seeing them. The Halloween homework. The Halloween homework is a package that you can get at Arnie Magoo. Um, there's a smaller one and then there's a big one. The big one comes with, you get a package with your the Halloween party. The, the Halloween party. The Halloween party. Um, you get the paint palette, the painty Magoo set. Um, you also get two cookie cutters, um, the banner set, and then cookie the um, the clown slash piping bag cookie cutter. Um, and uh, you also get two Halloween, like past previous Halloween Magoo you um, class classes. Um, and then you also get two smart cookies and an after school and lettering guides. And it it's so much fun. You get so much for a little price. So it's very, it's very awesome. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's like a little digital virtual mm -hmm. party. Yeah. Um, but if you're, I'm a goober. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have access to all this stuff. You do not have to buy the packet. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You don't want to because that will change your subscription and Mr. John will have to go in and fix it. But yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So if you want access to all this stuff, you have it and it's in this little index. Just click on the index and it'll it'll go into all that. Yeah. All the, the content. Yeah. All the and you can always, and stuff. And if you don't have one of the supplies that we give in the party... Um, just buy it right from the store. It's a lot easier and you don't, you know, you don't have to switch around your membership. <laughs> yeah. And with this, you also get access to, uh, for two months to the exclusive Maguya Student Body Facebook group. So you can see everybody's homework and chat. Make friends. Chat up. Up. Make friends. So, yeah. yeah. So, key takeaway if you're magoober do not buy the party yes. in a box yeah you have all the digital um parts in an index yes. that you can click into and have access to yes if you want the parts just get them separately mm -hmm. um, from the shop yeah and the party in a box um this one is twenty dollars so the big one is twenty dollars and then the small one you get a painting magoo along with the access to all the digital the digital classes and stuff like that um and that one is six dollars for this model yeah. i wanted to make sure <laughs> i know it's a little <laughs> there's several options but yeah. yeah yeah and uh as far as getting homework um like credit towards patches and stuff what what will yes yeah what we'll do is uh john will mr john will mark it mm -hmm in a little book so that in January when we have makeup homework that's uh available to be made up he will he will credit your yes and <laughs> you know what if if you guys want to to do the the uh, the Halloween parties and do that as homework and post it this month and post it publicly then I will give credit this month 
for those two Magoo U classes. So, uh, so now until the end of October, if you do your, your Halloween uh, party homework and post those, I'll give you full credit this month. You don't have to wait until January to post that homework. That is so awesome. <laughs> so now and the end of October, you can get four homework uh, uh, credits. Wow. And that means that you you would only be two public posts away from a from a whisk yeah. patch mm -hmm. over two months. Yeah. There you um, go. It's a patchy kind of month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say whiskey, but that's a yes. whiskey kind of month. It's a patchy kind of month. We're just so far no homework done. So, yay! Sylvia's back. Yes. Oh, yes. your students are so encouraging when you post homework. Yeah. Yeah. It is so... It's I love the group. Facebook page. It's so awesome. And a, a wide range of experience. You know, some are, are brand new. Yeah. <clears throat> and I know that can feel kind of overwhelming. Yeah. But uh, so many people there to help and yeah. answer. And, and if you ever have questions, type it in the Facebook group. People are always happy to help and, and answer and yes, the best bargain in the cookie universe, the cookie verse. So it, if you do want to expand that uh, that Halloween offering and get an annual um, membership, an annual membership is only one hundred and five dollars for the year. And you get access to eight years of classes, tips, tutorials, fun videos it's uh, it, it is absolutely the best deal in the cookie universe. You yeah. will not see another another uh, a, another class like this because Artie Magoo is the OG of doing oh. online classes. So uh, it, nobody's been doing it as long as she has. This is yeah. eight years worth of classes. It's an amazing mm -hmm. deal for only one hundred and five dollars for the year. I can't believe it's been it's been eight years. That's crazy. Yeah. And yes, they, they do. do um so that it's just easy peasy if you don't want it to you could always change the settings in your account if you ever feel like oh man this is i don't cookie anymore which happens sometimes that's you have complete control over that too um so just just know that you're not we don't force you to stay with us but we would like you to stay <laughs> with us but uh you know if, if it doesn't work out anymore yeah. you know it's you have total control over your your account yeah so we have um, we're going to take a dip into the um, uh, Magoo um, Magoo mailbag, if that's okay. cool with you. OK. All right. So first off, we have uh, Tessie with mm -hmm. the question for you. <laughs> All right. About TikTok. So, yeah. If you guys don't know, we are now on TikTok. She is posting regularly. We're trying to get as much content out right now as possible. It's spooky season. There's always stuff to post. So um, TikTok is not going to be shared anywhere else. Um, and we're very sorry about that, but there is exclusive content that is only going to be for TikTok. Um, so we're trying to gain a following on TikTok, and that's why we don't want to post everything onto Facebook. So Sorry about that. Yeah. Just like Facebook doesn't have the same thing as yeah, Instagram. Instagram and yeah, uh, vice versa, and yeah. uh, it, sometimes mm -hmm. they're similar, and sometimes they do cross over, but yeah. uh, typically not the same thing. Because I just mm -hmm. feel like you don't want to see the yeah, same. Yeah, you don't want to see same things over all of maybe that's same bad, platforms, but, you know. Yeah, know. <laughs> but yeah, for right now, we're just sticking to TikTok. Yeah. And here's your next question from Stacy Youngblood. All right. So, which one is your in person that you're doing the dinner afterwards? So, okay. So, um, if you're coming from out of town, almost always I'm willing to hang out with you afterwards, <laughs> as long as I don't have something else going on. Um, but definitely, we're planning on um, the uh, the ten eight, the October one, um, because that's an advanced one. And that's an all day, and it's kind of like goes right into dinner time. So that would be it. Just kind of fits perfectly for that. Um, so definitely the October class, but you know, let me know. Cause, uh, I'm always down. If you're, if you're in town here, even I'm, I, let's hang out. 
Yeah. <laughs> let's let's chillax. Um, I'm always happy to um, show off my area to people who are coming and visiting. So, but yeah. And if you guys are flying in, make sure to fly into the San Luis Obispo Airport. I will be your chauffeur and pick you up. So, <laughs> if you, yeah. <clears throat> You need a, a ride. Yes. All right. And then um, the next question. Let me uh, let me fix these things here. All right. Oh, look at Stacy. She's going. Yeah. To I think I think dinner put it put it over the top. <laughs> that oh, was wait, Artie's time. not buying dinner, but attending dinner. <laughs> putting that out there. Just putting it out there. I don't know. Now I'm thinking, like, wouldn't it be fun to like. I guess it would be after a full day class though. I was what? thinking like, what if I made dinner? But now I'm like, oh. I would just have taught a full day class. Uh, Never, no. okay. Yeah, I can make dinner. We could use, you could do tri-tip or something. <laughs> I know, I know. I, yeah, but definitely, hello, Jan. All right, so next up. So I'm got, so excited. Yeah. We've got uh, uh, Delmara Lovell. She said, so I used my bristles Magoo for the first time last night. The cookie set I'm working on is the whole eucalyptus themed design that's popular. Cute. I use gold airbrush coloring, thinking it would be more gold than it ended up being. Uh, the background is white. I feel like I need to use an edible marker to put some dark color to the words so that they stand out a bit more. Uh, maybe I just need to add a eucalyptus stem to break up the gold. Um, it's a big oh baby cookie. Um, the spots on the cookie are gold luster dust splatter. In hindsight, I probably should have used black airbrush color. Recommendations? Question mark. Thank you. I think it looks so cute. I, I love it. Your your the lettering, lettering is so gorgeous. Cute. Yeah. Um, I guess it's hard to decide without the other cookies for context because I think it looks really gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as it kind of fitting with everything else, though, mm -hmm. you want it to be more of a metallic gold or a... I think she wants it to stand out a little bit more. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it looks so pretty. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, oh. There you go. Because that's the color gold, right? Not the metallic gold that you did it with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. I think it looks dreamy. But yeah, without without seeing without the other ones, I, I don't know what I would change. Because like as is, as a standalone cookie, it looks very yellow. Yeah, and the gold is like a buttery yellow, totally. And I'm painting the words with gold luster. Yeah, I would, if you wanted to like it to be more metallic, it would be really pretty with the metallic gold. Yeah. But that's also doing another, adding another step. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean painting painting with the um, bristles, just dipping it in the gold, mm -hmm. um, that would work too. Yeah, um, but it looks so nice. Yeah. And uh, Rose Rosemary uh, Garcia said, "Hi, ladies." Um, Rosemary. And, uh, hi, Rosemary. Um, so, hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I <laughs> finally opened my Artie Magoo water brush. If you have used it, are you using straight airbrush paint? Dilute it, liquid gel color with water slash alcohol. Any help is appreciated. And I believe that it that it's also set. It says it on the the back of the uh, uh, the, the wrapper for the airbrush. Well, there's so many options that you could. Put, so it really depends on what you're looking for. I go straight airbrush color mm -hmm. in the in the bristles, um, or water or alcohol. But if you wanted a more pastel brush lettering, you could definitely color goes a long, long way. Um, but typically I do I do use straight airbrush color mm -hmm. in my water brush. But if I want to do like the water brush look, the watercolor look where like the colors go together and kind of bleed into each other, mm -hmm. ever clear, just clear, ever clear in it, and then dipping it into fresh food coloring looks really pretty too. So there's, yeah, there's several things you can do with it. Mm. Right on. That's, that is the, uh, the mail bag for, uh, for this week. And um, yeah, yeah. Lots going on. My gosh. I thought I saw a question up above about the um, level. Uh, yeah. 
about the level of the cookie class, the in in person classes. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah. It is starred even. I'm pretty sure you could show. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna show. Yeah. Look, I can do that. <gasps> I got you. I got it. <laughs> it's right so, there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I post. I put it up there because Sage told me I could. <laughs> my is my so like I'm like so. Um, <clears throat> when you consider yourself to be advanced, okay. Um, so really, there aren't any prerequisites or anything. So sometimes, like on Saturday, I had a person come into the intermediate class without taking any of the other classes. Um, she just jumped right into intermediate. I feel like it's more about how willing you are to try new things and to push yourself. Yeah. Because I think some people, I've even had people join the advanced class without ever decorating cookies before as well. Because they're just like, I'm just jumping in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Um, I feel like some people will get frustrated doing that. I think a lot of people would, especially going in from not doing any decorating, would be frustrated in an advanced class. But this person was like, hey, it was a birthday gift and, and they had a blast. Um, and they didn't expect to be like perfect and everything. Um, and they did a really good job too. They really yeah. did. Uh, but you would do great in any level. Um, it's It's just, especially having decorated before. You know, I think so too. I think it's a little kooky, but I think somebody bought, I think somebody bought it as a gift. Like, Hey, I think you do great at this. And they were just like, okay. Um, do you think there's also a bit of almost for lack of a better term, like cookie fatigue for someone who hasn't done a lot of cookies and then to right. go to an advanced long form class. Yeah. Some people just avoid the all day classes just because they're like, I, I can't yeah. sit that long. It's just not they lose their they're used to decorating cookies yeah. and like having breaks and things. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's like for an advanced person, it's fun to do the beginner class just cause it's more relaxed. And then, but you would do great in advance because you're, you're, um, <clears throat> you're an experienced cookie decorator, you know, yeah. it's yeah. more about like what, what you want your day to, to look like, you know, <laughs> I have a question for you. <clears throat> oh, Sage, you have a question. Yeah. Yes, oh. that's right. Okay. So for um Magoo you, how would you put that? Mm, what level? What level would you put that at? It depends on the month. I feel mm -hmm. like some months, I feel like most of them sit pretty um much in the intermediate to advanced almost always. I feel like mm -hmm. there's very few classes mm -hmm. that would be considered beginner. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are some that you, <clears throat> like, what are some previous months that you would consider intermediate or advanced or you know? like, okay. So take, for example, the recent, um, succulent class, mm -hmm. I would call that advanced. Okay. Yeah. Um, this bowling one, I think, I feel like it's like right in between intermediate mm -hmm. advanced. Mm -hmm. Um, let's look back here or more. <clears throat> yeah. So that, that one, the succulents advanced. That one, that's funny. The summer vibes one, I feel like it's, I feel like it's a, it's a collection mm -hmm. because I feel like, um, it's almost like some of them, like a beginner could do that one. And some ones are terrifying. That's <laughs> right. And that's kind of the, the goal is that some of the, the techniques, I want them to be a little terrifying because I want people to push themselves for sure. sure. Yeah. I love that fishing set. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like this is the same one, same way as the summer one. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, a kind of a combination. A and some, some months are like that where, mm -hmm. oh, this cookie is definitely like beginner intermediate. Like, mm -hmm. like anybody could do this and be pretty successful. And then usually there's a cookie in there that's like, oh, this is going to, going to push me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a, a hard question to answer yeah. because it's yeah. some, some are com combinations. Some are just straight up like, this is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and then sometimes some people just really are um, naturally going to be really good at some techniques Yeah. where they're yeah. like, oh, that one, I just have down for some reason. Mm -hmm. I, I have that one down. Like transfers or. And some people are just really good at piping for some reason, yeah. which a lot of times that's something people have to really work at that skill. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Just I looking at the, at the sets from, from this year alone, they're, they're really awesome. Th th these classes are are really great, and and I haven't gone through them to to look at them like this in a long time. Yeah. And uh, 
Boy, they, there are some just really incredible classes here, Liz. So look at that December flavors class. That heart one, a beginner could do that yeah. one. Yeah, it's it's really cute, but um, mm. the techniques are a little simpler. Great, great graphic punch. But then like the ornament, you know, with the, mm -hmm. the dried orange slice of stuff would definitely yeah. be an advanced. Mm -hmm. So because is that pipe or um, um, painting? There's painting in there. Yeah. There's intricate piping. There's mm -hmm. a lot going on. And also with the, the little gingerbread house. Yeah. But at the very same delicate, time, very small. I feel like a beginner could do it Yeah, because it's broken down. They just might not have the exact results, you know, the same mm -hmm. results, but it would still come, come out beautifully, yeah. but, you know, yeah. so. And also, if you're looking, if you want to know what the key techniques are that are that are being taught that month, it, it's all listed right there below the uh, uh, below that index of classes yeah. of videos. Mm -hmm. uh, that Thanksgiving one, surprisingly, was uh, it came together quite easily, even though it looks mm -hmm. really advanced. Yeah. The techniques used um, pretty weren't, you know, I would consider the that one like pretty solidly an intermediate. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Christmas cookie, yeah, that was advanced. Definitely the succulents and flowers. New flowers again. Could you please show and explain the consistency you're using? I had a terrible time with the succulents. Yeah, consistency is always going to be like <laughs> because people have different preferences. Like people, some people's lettering consistency or piping or a flood can be so different from the next person's con uh, what they consider a flood or a, a piping. Um, and I feel like that is the the main difference mm. when it comes to like, oh, this is not coming together. It's yeah. usually consistency. Yeah. So yeah, I, I let's do a I'll I'll do a smart cookie. I think again, and I've done a smart cookie about consistency. The breakdown. Which, I know a breakdown, but I I feel like it can never be talked about enough. So yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely put on that um, that on the to do list. Yes, yeah. Like even just icing from start to finish, really, really mm -hmm. break it down. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's, it is key. Yeah, yeah. Consistency is key. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear that some are terrifying. That's the, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but get the better part zones. is, yeah, get you out of your comfort zones. Because if it's just, I do want it to be fun. Totally. That's a goal. <laughs> yeah. I definitely want it to be an enjoyable, um, you know, decorating experience. Yeah. But also, I don't want it to just be like, I already know how to do this. Okay. You know, yeah, this is something yeah. I already know how to do, or mm -hmm. this is, I don't want you to be too comfortable. Yeah. Cause we don't go to the gym to be comfortable. <laughs> we go to the gym to get stronger. Yes. And I love that you guys still do the homework and the projects, even when it does, when it is a little scary. Cause yeah. let me tell you what I'm scared when I do some of these sets, I'm like, <laughs> I am not comfortable with this technique. Very, very comfortable, but I still push myself too. And you guys so always, learn it together. You guys always amaze us with your, you know, posts on, on the Magoober totally. group. Yeah. Every month I'm like, what? yeah. And we were just talking about the bristles. Magoo Magoobers get for it only for only $4 this month. Nice. Um, it's a great tool. And I feel like you can use it as a paintbrush, as a water brush for cookies, not for cookies, for calligraphy, for watercolor, literally anything. Yeah. The it's so it's so versatile. Yeah. yeah. I love that guy. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You and I went to an art class uh on Friday or Saturday night. My gray purse up in my yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So yeah. and there got, was just but so McGoobers know, even I get out of my comfort zone once in a while. And this was definitely one of them. So we went to a little, it's, it was like a sip and paint where you just kind of drop in, bring your own art supplies. And they have a beautiful still life that Bailey happened to put together. Uh, you just sit and kind of can, can, it was a bouquet of flowers and some glass bottles, really interesting visually. And then uh, you sit down and you just kind of socialize. Some people drink their little wine there that they have. And uh, and then you just paint and chat. And Mr. John, do you have your results of that evening with you? Do you have yours? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I do. This is something I always have in my purse right here. I'm <laughs> such a nerd. Oh, yeah. I always uh, have a watercolor palette. This has real watercolor in it, not uh, not food color, but real. <laughs> and uh, my water brush, my bristles, 
Magoo plus a watercolor palette. This is a baby one that my sister gave me, which it's so travel size, fun size. <laughs> um, so at the studio, like the, the little paint thing, um, so that's put on by the, the art studio there downtown where I teach. Um, and that's put on by the, the kind of the art association there. But yeah, I think they do it every month, right? Yeah. It was, it was really relaxing. We just got to, to sit there and chat with, uh, with a few of the folks that were there. Um, Charles was awesome. Really cool guy. Yeah. So, right. so you reveal your... So Look at that. Three-dimensional. All right. I'm not an artist. I, I love I, I, it. I, people were coming by also and like looking over my shoulder. And I'm like, this is not the art to look at. This is not, this is not the thing. So go go to somebody else because you did great, Dad. It's very <laughs> much out of my comfort zone. I love it because you are you don't draw like for fun, you don't just sit and sketch or draw ever. Um but you did you great. did it and it looked so great, right? It did. It's so great. Now I was out of my comfort zone too because um I usually don't like sit and like when I paint, it's usually by myself and I'm just kind of you know zoning out and not really socializing. It's more of a meditative thing for me. Yeah. So that was different for me too, to have like people around and like walking behind and like looking and going like making comments. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is weird. <laughs> this is weird. If I'm decorating cookies, that's one thing. Come and look over my shoulder. I, you know, whatever. I'm used to that. I'm literally used to having like a camera over my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking is a different story, but yeah, when I, when I was painting, that was funny. Uh, so this is what, what I did in my little watercolor journal. Right. He, he could keep pushing himself, yes. decorate some cookies. Um, but to, to, you know, instead of like playing whatever on your phone, I do like Sudoku, but I'll just sit in watercolor and it's, it's super relaxing and fun. Yeah. So yeah, get a water brush pen yeah. for, for not cookies. It's a good technique to transfer over to your cookies too, you know? Take a watercolor class. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's so like, you can't mess it up. You really can't. And Sage, you would have been there, but you had you had homework. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, Bailey, my, my eldest, is teaching a watercolor class. At the studios on October first. So again, if you're in the area, you can come uh, come learn from the whole Adams crew. Yeah, <laughs> at the studio. She has studios the, uh, on the park. What's it? What's it called? It's called Color Catharsis. Yes. And it's kind of a uh, therapeutic watercolor class. Mm -hmm. Really, really no stress, no experience needed, and yeah. uh, pretty exciting. Look at that studios on the park. It is a place where actual artists, it's a gallery where people uh, sit and paint. Yeah. You can go talk to the artist, Color Catharsis, October 1st. There's Bailey. Look at that. It's time for some self care. Join Bailey in the art of poetry and get 25 bucks. Color. Opportunity yeah. to reconnect with yourself through multiple artistic mediums that will be appreciated and experimented with. So yeah. cool. So awesome. I love it so yeah that's that's what's uh wow we're feeling so artistic and yeah. so in touch with our it's the weather it's the weather that's bringing it out for know? sure yeah <laughs> uh also funny story if you come to the october class it is the same day and time as our pioneer day yeah. in paso robles downtown. so there's gonna be a parade going on during class it's gonna start so the same time class. definitely get parking early and maybe park in the back of the studio the the street behind the studio not the was, main street the street behind i did not know that was uh, happening but it will make for some fun yeah um lunch break and uh some adventures fun adventures <laughs> yeah that day yeah. for those who come travel mm -hmm. to yeah, we'll we'll put a map and a little yeah tag like where you should park because I agree you don't want to be in front you want to be in the back <laughs> and that's where you go into the class anyway so I mean after the parade there'll be plenty of parking oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right that's right 
Oh my gosh. That's so I need funny. to look at the local <laughs> calendar and make sure that we're, yeah. So Marilyn got yeah. to, the, the Christmas parade was at night. So she got to go to the, the Christmas parade after, which was hysterical. <laughs> there were, there were snakes and like, I think a kangaroo and like an alligator, right? What? <laughs> yeah. It, it was the, the the zoo to you thing. They were they were walking by with all of these animals and like uh, reptiles and stuff. It was, it was like Christmas lights on. It was red. When was this? We saw a car, a, a trailer bottom out, or like right on the, on the, uh, the the curb there. It was very I off the, the the float to get. <laughs> it was oh, hysterical. When was this? <laughs> when was this? This was December. Early December last year. I don't think oh, you were here. You were in. I was gone. College. I was away. Yeah. Yeah. We'll send you some rain, Carmen, yes. uh, from Sylvia. We're not going to send you our rain, though, because we are. <laughs> yeah. We'll send you <laughs> Sylvia San Diego. We'll Diego's. send you some of her rain. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mr. John has one more. One more. Okay. What? When is your When is your December class? That's what I have to, to find out. Early December. Is it the same day third? as the Christmas? Is it the third? third? I think so. I think so. Oh my goodness. What the heck is happening? Cats are fighting. Oh, pumpkin steel is chill. I'm still not getting a lot. All right. So I'm I'm double checking right now because I think you're seeing it's the same day as the parade. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm verifying right now. The Christmas parade is at night. Yeah, because it's Christmas light parade. Mm -hmm. like, it might be the lighting of the downtown. Yeah, they have no, like it is the it is the day of the Christmas parade. It's okay. December third. Well, you have the Christmas light parade on December third, and that's when uh, <laughs> when your class is. So, so uh, Marilyn, if uh, if you want another Paso Robles parade, that <laughs> is. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, but that's a beginner class on that day. Yes. So we can know, end early, but Liz is the Pioneer Day uh, parade, which is on October 8th. This is going to sound sound weird and I apologize if it's too strange for everybody listening, but is that the day of the bean feed in town? I think it is the bean feed. Wow. <laughs> Wow. You could, get, you could get beans for lunch for free. Because wow. right. you know what? Does. Yeah, you go and they have these cauldrons, these pots that like humans can fit into. <laughs> Full of beans. You know, you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> it reminds me of Gilmore Girls, how like their town is Star always Hollow, putting something stupid on. It's totally Stars Hollow. Yeah. Paso is Stars Hollow. The bean, the bean feed. feed. So you get some little buttery French bread and a bowl of beans, and you just you hang out with the town of Paso Robles eating beans. Welcome to Stars Hollow. <laughs> Pioneer Day. Literally, it's a lot of old tractors and horses and uh, beans. Apparently, yeah. There you go. Look at this. But th they'll miss that part. So yeah, this is the yeah. part about this because you're decorating. Oh, look at that. Here you go. There's the parade right there. Wow. Man. Huh. Beer fest. Alumni. The free bean feed right there at noon. So it looks like noon would be a great time for a uh, for a lunch break and <laughs> free beans in the park for all attending Magoo U in person class. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the <whole time> <laughs> Down eating beans, yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna say what happens on Sunday, yeah. But and this is the first time in a couple of years that we've had it because of the corones, so yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it they it used to be like bring your own bowl, but I think they figured, like, okay, bring but you know what happened when you're like at the end of the bean feed, we're like, hey, we have these. Ziploc bags. Didn't they load us up with yes. like Ziploc bags yes. full of beans? <laughs> it 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 uh, yeah. makes BYOB a whole <laughs> other a whole other meaning. Yeah, bring your own bowl. 
fill it up with beans. It's like the slushy day, you know, bring whatever receptacle you have. Oh my. Like a kiddie pool and we'll fill it with beans. Absolutely. Disgusting. Rather than slushy. <laughs> Parade. That's the day. Okay. Yeah, look at that right there. Wow. Traditional bean cooking begins. Begins. It's slam. Slam. There. There's your schedule for the day. Look at that. Along the cloud. Come early and go to the little cowboy, little cowgirl contest. And <laughs> you could be there to watch the beans start cooking at seven. Wow. This, this is a fantastic day. It does say bring your pots. Free bean feed, bring your pots. Because people go and they bring their pots, they get it filled, and then they take it to one of the, the picnic tables. And then they like share... In <laughs> yeah, is this a Mr. B? I'm not sure if this is a selling point or a like. <laughs> I want Mr. Mr. B. Yeah. I'm in on this. Like this is this is spectacular. You get small town America little little festival feel. You have Magoo uh, class all day. This it, it and and it's an October Halloween themed class, which is going to be spectacular. Yeah, that's too good. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded very like Haunted Mansion. Join us. <laughs> We're done. Uh -huh. Don't forget to bring your death certificate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise there's other cool things in town yes. if you're not into beans. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not into beans? I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> so weird. So random. Why? Is Denver performing in the parade? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can see, yeah. Even maybe he'll he come in and just serenade the class with his sax for a little oh. while. Yes. yes. What we'll do is we'll have the band come in at the end of the parade and just make sure that they stop by there to just do a little number and then... Yeah. Denver would <laughs> totally round up his buddies and do that. So, yeah. so what you're saying is there, you're going to plan some special events around this class, too. This is going to be awesome. Advanced right. classes are, are always uh, unforgettable. Yeah, this will be extra unforgettable. <laughs> Beans uh, and Halloween. Okay. Yeah. Uh, friends, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to see you there. Yeah. And... Uh, but we'll see you next Monday as well. We still have yes. a couple Mondays left. Yes. <laughs> now yes. it's happening. Sold. Um, so yeah, um, next Monday. And then we have so two more Mondays of, of right? One more after one this. More one more after, after this. this. One more after this. More. And then it begins a costume freaking Monday. Costume freaking Mondays happen? Yep. Yeah. These are, so yeah. Always <laughs> yeah. a party. Yes. And a bean party at that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Before that, it'll be uh, Costume Mondays. Every Monday here on it exclusively. This is your exclusive Facebook content. Yes. Um, the, the, the lives happen here. The, the yes. big costume reveals. I do post pictures on Instagram. Um, yes. Follow Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, TikTok now. Yeah. We're probably going to post more today and tomorrow and exclusive behind the scenes. And stuff. you're joining me in the dressing up every Monday. Of is that course correct? I am. Okay. Of course I am. Who knows what's going to happen? I do Who not know. Knows? I don't know. Yeah. You don't know either. Don't it's know. always a surprise. Yeah. Oh, but it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I know what I'm doing for Halloween. The big one. The big. I think I know too. Good, good. Now it's just the little ones that we get to, yeah. to come up with. Totally. But we'll see you next Monday. Yes. In the meantime, have, have a delicious, delicious